Now at 5.30, a woman has been found in Lexington after being missing for months out of Texas. You'll hear from her common-law husband, who was the prime suspect in her disappearance. Also on WKYT this morning, a major data breach at a popular insurance company may have affected tens of millions of customers. The heaviest snow is on out of here, but we're still looking at snow on some of these grounds. we got to be watching out for that as we travel this morning. Much better toward the weekend. I have your forecast coming up. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning, live from Lexington. Welcome to WKYT This Morning. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Hope you're having a great start to your morning. When you woke up, you may have been surprised or not, because Mike has been warning us all week long about the uh, little layer of yeah, snow. Well, that's what you can call it, uh, pretty much. It is enough that it is affecting uh, several of our school systems that have uh, closed for the day, but a lot of others are up and at it, ready to go this morning. Here is meteorologist Micah Harris with a check on the weather. Yeah, we did uh, talk about that yesterday, how you could have a coating to one inch and wake it up this morning. And the problem is, is that cold air has really rushed in here uh, looking toward this morning. So, head What's up for that as you're traveling this morning? Now, personally, I didn't run into any slick spots, but there is uh, there's wet roadways everywhere. So these temperatures are really, really cold. You could get some flakes here and there. It won't amount to anything. The uh, heaviest snow has already moved on out. Look at these temperatures. You're getting a couple of teens, uh, mostly 20s. That's just enough to get some of the uh, icy spots there on the roads. And I did run into that in my driveway and sidewalk, so watch out as you're walking. By the afternoon, 25 degrees. It looks like a mixture of sun and clouds. Much better by the afternoon, looks wise. But the feel really comes this weekend. I'll show you that coming up. All right, Micah, thank you. And with that snowfall comes some slick roadways this morning. Crews have been out overnight treating the roads before the morning commute. WKOT's Mark Barber is live in Lexington, keeping us alert on what we can expect when we're heading out. Good morning. Good morning, Rebecca and Bill. Drivers here at New Circle Road and Georgetown Road aren't seeing too many slick spots right now, but road crews say that could change as the temperatures continue to drop and black ice might start to form here on the road. Now, crews are saying for the most part, though, drivers don't have much to worry about this morning. They say that they have been dropping salt on the roads for five and a half hours. They say we really dodged a bullet because they were expecting up to an inch of snow to fall on the roads, but we only saw trace amounts. Even so, crews say there are still some icy trouble spots around the city, especially on side streets. You know, they need to drive with caution this morning and, you know, drive slow and be aware of other drivers. And it's, you know, it's, there's some slick spots here and there, but we, we have trucks out, so should, everything's been treated. Police say those slick spots have caused at least one driver to run off the roads this morning. We're told that that crash happened at the Man of War and Winchester Road intersection. We're told that the driver hit a slick patch, slid off the road and into a ditch. So just a word of caution to you as you head out the door this morning on your way to work. Please take it easy on the roads. Live in Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. Well, the roads aren't the only places where you'll need to be careful. Sidewalks and parking lots are pretty slick this morning. Emergency crews tell us one man actually had to be taken to the hospital overnight after he fell outside the Speedway gas station on Winchester Road in Lexington. All right, so watch your step out there this morning. The cold weather can often be tough on those without shelter from the snow and sleet. And this morning, one Clark County deputy was able to help out a man who was trying to escape the cold. Deputy Casey Cottle was sent out to a grass fire near Rockwell Road off Interstate 64 in Winchester. And when he got there, he found a man nearby who said he was homeless and had set the fire to keep warm. Rather than arrest the man for setting the fire, the deputy decided to help him out. Deputy Cottle drove the man to Hamburg Place here in Lexington so that he didn't have to walk nearly 15 to 20 miles in the cold. Remember, you can help us track the snow from your own backyard. Send us your eyewitness pictures using the hashtag WKYTRulesWinter. You can stay up to date by viewing all our latest forecasts and school closings by visiting our website, WKYT.com. Now on to a consumer alert for you this morning. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield warning customers nationwide about a large data breach. Now, hackers have gained access to information on tens of thousands of customers and employees, and that includes their social security numbers, their addresses, and a lot more, apparently. WKYT's Whitney Wetzel is live near a Lexington Anthem office with more on what Anthem customers need to know and what they should do. Good morning, Whitney. 
Good morning. Well, the company employs 1,100 people at offices in Lexington and Louisville, and it's actually one of the providers under Kentucky's Connect Healthcare Exchange. In a statement, Anthem admits that it fell victim to what the company calls a very sophisticated cyber attack. The nation's second largest health insurer says hackers infiltrated its computer network and accessed the personal information of both current and former customers. The information stolen includes names, social security numbers, birth dates, and even employment details like income. In all, more than 80 million records were breached. Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield serves 1.2 million members across Kentucky. Nationwide, one in three Americans carries a Blue Cross and Blue Shield card. Customers whose information was compromised will be notified by Anthem in the coming weeks. But in the meantime, there is a website and a phone number you can call to learn more about this breach. And we have that information on our website, WKYT.com. Live in Lexington, Whitney Wetzel, WKYT. All right, Whitney, thank you very much. A woman missing for months in Texas has been found and arrested in Lexington. 43 year old Christina Davison went missing from Texas about seven months ago and was presumed dead. But early Wednesday morning, police arrested her after a traffic stop in Lexington. She had been working as a waitress at Red State Barbecue in Lexington since she disappeared. Her common law husband says he is relieved since he was a primary suspect in her disappearance. Davison is being held in Lexington on a $20,000 bond. She's charged with drug possession. We are tracking a crime alert in Lexington this morning. Police say a man was attacked during a robbery. Happened around 9.30 last night, just outside the extended stay America on Tates Creek Road. Lexington police say two men armed with baseball bats walked up to the victim and tried to steal his wallet. At one point, the robbers hit the victim with the bat. They eventually ran off without taking anything. The victim had some minor injuries. Police have not made any arrests. Lexington firefighters are now thinking that a candle is what started a big fire that damaged a building at the Thoroughbred Center. The fire broke out around 8 o'clock Wednesday morning at the center along Paris Pike. The fire destroyed a tack shop, a leather shop, and an apartment. The man who lived in that apartment told us that he had just moved here from California for jockey training. Just got to start all over, you know. I'm I mean, I'm a long way from home, so I mean, I just got to, you know, be an adult about it and just move forward. At one point, up to 60 firefighters were battling the fire. Firefighters say that a woman and a firefighter suffered some smoke inhalation. Their injuries were not life-threatening. No horses were in the area at the time of the fire. A woman says she received quite a surprise when she found a baby alone in a Rowan County driveway. Caitlin Horton says she was checking her mail yesterday when she noticed a baby carrier covered by a blanket in her neighbor's driveway. So she decided to check it out. Pull back the blanket, and the, a, a baby, just a little, a little baby, just was looking up at me. He wasn't crying. Horton quickly called for help. Police could not find the six week old baby's parents, so they took him to the hospital. Police say those parents, Carlin Engelbrecht and Jesse Stacy, later showed up, and they've both been charged with wanton endangerment. Police say the couple each left their home in a different vehicle. And somehow the child was left in the driveway. Off camera, Engelbrecht told us this was just an accident. The infant and the couple's other child are now with child services. And the Kentucky House Speaker is set to present a bill to raise the minimum wage today at the state capitol. A similar bill passed through the Democratic run House last year, but died in the Republican run Senate. If the bill passes, minimum wage would go up from 725 to 1010 an hour. That raise would be gradual. President Barack Obama could have a tough time selling his proposed $4 trillion budget to many members of Congress. The budget offers nearly $500 billion in spending for infrastructure. It would also give tax breaks to some in the middle class while raising taxes on the wealthiest Americans. The budget also calls for creating new taxes for companies that store profits overseas. But Kentucky 6th District Congressman Andy Barr says this isn't the right plan for Americans. They deserve a government that's more efficient, more effective, a government that spends less, that serves better, and that is genuinely accountable to hardworking taxpayers. 
Well, Barr says the president's proposed budget will also put the country further in debt. He says it should include a way to create jobs. Lexington Mayor Jim Gray has written a letter supporting the University of Kentucky's request for state funding for a medical research facility. Mayor Gray sent that letter to Senate President Robert Stivers and to House Speaker Greg Stumbo. UK leaders ask state lawmakers to approve $10 million in a year in bonds for the facility. The mayor suggested using money that was once designated to be used for renovating Rupp Arena.